I finally get to unveil this project that has been going on for months. You guys are going to love what you're about to see. Look at this. This is a converted toy grade brooder telehandler. Uh, some of you may know it as a zoom boom. This actually is the product from my friend and fellow YouTuber RC Modders. My friend Pete actually runs the channel and he actually did me a great favor while he was watching Loading Wars of actually converting this brooder telehandler over into an all RC uh, controlled model. 3D printing as you guys know has come a long way and an enabled so much different types of fabrication and creativity really opening up the doors uh, to people that have vision. Now Pete is one of those guys that has vision. I was looking around for a telehandler when we were doing the show Loading Wars which is on our second channel RC Sparks Reboot and if you guys love uh, YouTube Gold then you guys got to check out what we did with Loading Wars because it's the same crew. Uh, we had a great time uh, pretending that we had a warehouse loading up with crazy uh, RC equipment and uh, picking and pulling orders. As nerdy as that sounds, it was a ton of fun. I suggest you check it out. Now this is something, we were using forklifts and they were Carson uh, forklifts, quite expensive um, and they are a lot of fun. They are a little bit limited uh, but we also, you know, modified those and had a great time with them. Now we wanted to have something a little bit different on the show and I know that being springtime at the time of this filming YouTube gold will have to be put on hold at some point because it's going to be a downpour of rain so I wanted to have something different for our viewers that we could check out and uh, have a bit more of a challenge on loading wars now let me talk about my fellow youtuber uh, Pete there Mr. RC Modders he did a highly detailed uh, series of videos showing you guys how to actually switch over over these brooder toys uh, in these telehandlers specifically uh, into the machine I'm going to show you guys today. I was honored. The story is absolutely amazing how I came across Pete. I actually thought he was somebody else that somebody else had recommended me uh, to build these things and he just happened to be another fellow hobbyist, avid as we all are, that were, was actually modifying uh, brooders already. And he said, oh my gosh, like, no, I've, I've never done one of these before. Uh, I, you know, I'm the wrong guy. And I said, well, no problem, because we're looking to do it for the season finale of, of Loading Wars, because we can either do gold or Loading Wars. We can't really do both. It's, you know, winter and fall. If we're lucky, we can do Loading Wars. And then in the spring and summer, you know, gold. I digress. So... Mr. Pete called me back, and, or didn't call me back, but got me back on Facebook and a few months later and said, check out what I have done. And so he had taken the idea that I had come to him with the, with the telehandler, took it upon himself. He said, listen, it couldn't be done because there's really no room for electronics. You know how it's four wheel steer. This has a telescoping uh, front boom here as well as a bucket and or forks or whatever you can have. So he went in through his genius, put in these little motors and gearboxes. These are all brushed motors, totally designed these arms that hold the motors and installed servos right here and a screw drive on the inside with another servo that completely makes this toy come to life. Now I'm going to show you what is the final product is here today and then you guys can know what's coming up on uh, uh, RC Adventures slash Loading Wars in the future here if you guys are into that kind of stuff. Check it out. Here is my Gen Zace battery. Uh, this is a 40C discharge, two cell, only 800 milliamp hours very very small. Now Pete went ahead and figured out a way in this small area on the side here you can see 3D printed for me awesome um, my my name right here and the number on the side so we can tell who is who. Two screws undone I can lift this out of the way there is the receiver on the inside he even made a little 3D printed holder to hold the antennas this on the inside got a little bit of dust. I should blow this out here with the airbrush or the um, air gun. On off switch right in the very front. 3D printed holder for the servo on the inside, micro servo there. 
And this is where the battery has to go as well, because like we said, there is not a lot of room on this little model, right? So a very small battery. This is, I'll leave the dimensions of the battery in the video description box down below so you can check out if you're doing this as well. Um, or if you're already following RC Modders, you should go and subscribe to his channel right now. And smash that like button on this video because he killed it on this. Once you guys see uh, his build series on this and other brooders, you guys are going to be converting your own brooders soon enough if you aren't already doing it. Now, let me go ahead and fit this battery on the inside. Just tightening that up. There we go. Almost perfect. Probably have a little wire sticking out, but for the time being, that's right. A little screw to tighten it up back here. Got the top on. Let's see if I can turn on the radio first. Beautiful. And then we turn it on over here. First time for this one. Three, two, yeah! Look at that! Da -na 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 -na. Now, I was very fortunate. Pete took a lot of time talking with me over the, the uh, months that we were talking about this. And his very detail-oriented building really came up with a lot of cool innovation. Now, let me show you for a second. Look at this. The four-wheel steer on here. And each individual motor. Stunning. So each motor has a drive. And steering. Nice full throw. Okay, so the boom movement is on the side. If I pull down, it's going to go up. And you'll also notice that the front connector plate right here, uh, where you put the forks or the bucket on, is also mixed into the boom, raising and lowering, uh, keeping it nice and level. I can also control it with the up and down stick. And left and right will control forward and backward. Here, I'll just kind of turn it so you can see. Now I don't want to move too quickly, or, or pardon me, I don't want to push it past the point because I'll show you what I mean here. Let's move it out. You can see I'm running out of lead line, plus you'll also see the servos torquing that plastic boom. Now keep in mind, plastic, of course, is not going to be metal. You don't want to over torque on something like that. You want to be kind of careful. Still individual control right here. And four wheel steering that can move easy on those individual motors. Is that insane or what? The imagination and creativity that people are able to put into action these days, you know, through different uh, means of 3D printing and the toy grade that have come out, plus the technology, it's just making for an RC haven. Let's go and pick up one of these um, uh, little accessories here from Bruder. So this is the Bruder accessory pack. It comes with some forks, a bin, uh, a winch line, of course, and a couple sets of forks, I guess. And uh, this one would have already come with a bucket on the front. Now, the neat thing about these accessories is you'll see these small um, hookup areas right here. Same with the tab right here. On the front of this plate, it actually has a hook. So it's going to simply come along and hook into that. I shouldn't even have to touch it with my hand. Let's see. Here's my wheel. Bringing it down. Now I've come in at a bit of an angle, not a big deal. And up. Now if I just kind of roll it forward, just like that, so you can see. So I pushed into it, hooked it, and up it goes. Yeah, that's better. Perfect, now it's on there, back down it goes. And forward. Yeah, <laughs> this is gonna take some practice. I know Crazy Joe is gonna say I'm cheating right now. <laughs> oh! Let's see here. Bring it down a little bit. This is gonna to be totally different than the forklifts. Okay, and then up a little bit. Up. And then, yeah, that's right. But I wanna keep it down off the ground because I wouldn't want a penalty. There is penalties in loading wars. 
But I think most of us would agree that penalties are actually not punishment, they're more fun. <laughs> okay, so I can lift one of these batteries. Ooh, I just hit the trailer. Okay, bring it down. Ooh, big forks. Come on. Oh my gosh, this is hard, okay. Right, right, how about like that, then down. Then back out. Yeah! <laughs> so there you go. Now you get to have a good idea of how this actually works. Uh, we're going to be able to have a lot of fun on Loading Wars. And you know me. I didn't just get one. I bought two of them. So we actually have a pair for each team. Thank you to uh, Pete, or Mr. RC Modder, and your wife, Helen. So much appreciation goes into the fans and viewers that always help to contribute to make this show as best as it can. If it wasn't for Pete, I wouldn't have been able to do this. So big thumbs up, guys. Go over, smash that subscribe button on his channel. Show some support, and we will see you in the next episode of RC Adventures. Now I get to go and pre-practice at Loading Wars. Ha <laughs> ha!